Hey guys, it's, uh, it's Trent from the Battlecast, and today is Airsoft 101, Episode 2. Today, like I said, would be batteries, so let's get to work. <laughs> So, there's multiple battery types you can get. Right here is a nickel metal hydrate, and these usually can last quite a bit of t uh, you know, time. These are the nunchuck batteries. These are lower grade, but it all really depends on the speed of them, so I can't really say that. There's also the tri panel ones, the custom ones, which people call this great, the stick batteries, and many other ones. So, yeah. Now, the higher voltage on them, like these are 800, I'm pretty sure, yes, and, you know, so that, the higher voltage is the longer it can actually, you know, play. So, for example, the 1600 volt battery would actually last twice the time of the 800 volt battery nunchuck one. Um, for a starter airsofter, I would recommend either the uh, nickel metal hydrate or the nunchuck batteries because they're easier to use. One thing I always need to remind you, so many things have happened with stuff like this. I've seen so many accidents, tragedies that will just ruin your airsoft gun. Never overcharge these batteries. What will happen is it can c catch fires and stuff like that. If you leave it on your charger overnight and you forget, it never works out. So the recommended charging time is from six to eight hours, so always do that. Uh, any lower won't hurt it, but make sure it's that charge. When you're done with your airsoft battery, always take it out of your airsoft gun. Keep it more protect and keep it somewhere safe. Never put it in your water or any other terrain that will mess with it or, you know, harm it in any physical way. And obviously, I don't ever need to tell you, never put negative to positive or positive to negative. It's, no, it's not a good idea. So, um, other than that, always keep your batteries safe. Always make sure you use the right batteries and stuff. And now I'm just going to show you how to insert batteries. So, if it's like an M4 style like this, it's really simple to insert the batteries. Don't need to do anything, just pull, you have to pull back on this release, like this, pull it out, and easily just slip in the uh, battery, you know, just let me get this to work, you know, yeah, you would just plug it in, I would recommend a nunchuck battery if you're going to put it into here, because it's a lot easier to use, you know, I'll always just click it in, and just put it in there, close it up, yep, and obviously, you know, like I said, take it out. And then for more of the scar type models, it's different for all scars. Some scars, you would push this part out here, and this would come out. For this scar, by Classic Army, you have to fold it open the stock, like, like so, and easily just unscrew it with your Allen wrench, as so. Now, it takes a little more patience to do this, to actually, you know, put these batteries in, but always, you know, never lose your patience while playing airsoft. It will, you know, you'll regret your decision later on. Usually, just keep unscrewing it until either, either the bolt comes out or this will slide out. And so, so there it is. You would, I would usually use the nickel metal hydrate battery for this. What you do? Just slide it in there, and then you would plug it into the circuit coming through here. Unplug this here. There is a cert, a uh, cord right there. You just plug it in, put the battery in, put it back in here. Like so, and just screw it back on. Alright, 
Uh, we'll set this aside for now. That's pretty much about it for Airsoft 101 Episode 2. Next time, stay tuned for ammunition. See you guys.